Hey there guys, it's Shock from the 3GT, and I'm going to give you guys this quick Dark Souls Basics video. It's going to cover dodging, parrying, blocking, enemy types, and so on. A lot Stats, classes, I'm going to do the whole thing for you so you know the little basics of Dark Souls. So I hope you guys enjoy, and just sit back and watch the video. If you already know the basics, just skip right to the walkthrough. So, to start off with, we're going to start off with just your main screen, the screen that you will be looking at, at for most of your Dark Souls time. Uh, here you will notice several things. Uh, at the top, you will notice a red bar that is your maximum health, uh, pretty standard. The green bar is your maximum stamina. Your stamina is used in order to sprint, dodge, block, attack. It's used for many things and it gets consumed by many things. The number counter to the left of that is your humanity counter. And the icons below are buffs that your equipment give to you. Now below that are these boxes with some icons in them and some words. Uh, the very top box belongs to any spell that you own. Pyromancy, Miracle, Dark Magic, so on, Sorceries, they all go in there. To your right is whatever is in your left, uh, left hand, I think. No, no, that's your right hand. Whatever is in the right is your right hand, and whatever is in the left is, what, is what's in your left hand. And then at the very bottom is your items. For the quick select there, you can have five items select there. You can have humanity, you can have an Estus Flask, uh, you can have fire bombs, homeward bone, whatever you want to put in there. It can go in there. And now finally to the very right is your soul counter. Your soul counter uh, is basically just the amount of souls that you have gotten from killing or using soul items, etc. Souls can be used to upgrade weapons, armor, to level up, to buy things, and so on. Souls are very important to a certain part of the game, and then they become useless when you don't need them anymore. But that's it for the basic screen. In the second part, we are going to cover sprinting. Now, sprinting can be done by hitting, holding down the B button if you're using an Xbox controller, or if you're using a keyboard, holding down the spacebar. And all you do is hold it down and just run in a direction, and you will start sprinting. Uh, while you are sprinting, you can also do th things such as jump. Uh, you can uh, do a sprinting attack. You can jump backwards. And uh, there's many different things you can do while you're sprinting, such as those. Um, also, sprinting reduces the... well, it doesn't reduce it. Uh, uses up your stamina at a pretty fast rate. That's it all for sprinting. Next up, we are going to cover blocking. Now, blocking is pretty easy. You just hold your right one bumper for the Xbox controller, or you hold down tab for the keyboard. I still suggest, by the way, that if you're not using an Xbox controller, that you use an Xbox controller. It's so much better than the keyboard. Um, but to block, just run up to an enemy, and hold down the R1 button or the tab button and every time you are struck you will lose stamina according to how much damage you took. Now you can't block forever and blocking also uh, hinders your stamina regeneration so just be careful. Next up on our list is the backstabbing. To backstab, all you need to do is get behind an enemy and light attack them, and you will then start to go into an animation called the backstab. 
While you're in this animation, you are invulnerable to all attacks, and you will also do increased damage. A good thing to note as well is you can backstab anything that's about two times your height, like the Serpent Man here. Anything b bigger though, and like bulkier, you cannot backstab. Backstabbing is a good strategy to use in PvP, and it will also help you a lot inside of the just general world. Next up on our list is parrying. Now, parrying is more difficult than backstabbing because it requires you to watch the uh, enemy's animation. However, it will do more damage to whatever you're doing than a backstab will. Now, the important thing about parrying is you need to watch for the enemy's animation, and right before it swings at you, you want to parry. And to do this, it's the right to two bumper on the Xbox controller, or the uh, tab button, I believe, on the keyboard. I'm not too sure. You, uh, I don't really use keyboard anymore, so uh, someone might have to correct me on that one. But parrying is also a lot harder because it puts you at a lot more risk than it does for backstab. Next up, we're going to cover dodging. And I'm going to use Chaos Witch Quaylag, which is a boss later on in the game, to demonstrate this easiest. Uh, Quaylag is the most, uh, I'd say, dodge-centric boss that you will uh, visit first. And she requires you to be able to watch her animations and dodge her off. So in here you can see me just dodging to the right every time her attack uh, gets close to me. The reason I do this is because uh, when you dodge you have slight invincibility frames. So if, as long as you time it right, you will never ever get hit. And this works for many types of enemies. You just want to sit there and dodge in the direction of their weapons sometimes and it will never hit you. Or just watch their animations and then dodge. It's pretty simple. Next up, we're going to do magic, and um, we're going to start off with pyromancy. Uh, pyromancy is exactly as it sounds. You just sit there and throw fire around at people. You have short-range magic, like the combustion, or you have long-range, like the great fireball. You can also do firestorm, which is a AoE, and it just spouts fire everywhere, or you can put a fire orb, which is like a smaller little fireball. There's a lot of different types of pyromancy that you can use, include with self buffs that will make you stronger against fire, and so on. Next up, we are going to do black magic and one sorcery. Uh, I don't have a lot of sorcery to show you, but uh, and I don't have any miracles to show you, but miracles uh, work with a talisman. Uh, so black magic is one of the stronger magics. Uh, it includes black flame, black orb, and dark bead. Those are some of the black magics that are commonly used. Uh, they're all very, very, very powerful, and a lot of people use them to cheese in this game. So uh, I'm just going to run around and show you some of the magics here. And so just sit back and watch them. By the lords! By the gods! My... Are you a heretic? Or just plain hollow? It matters not, for you shall not escape. You will offend the gods no longer. No. This can't be. It can't end. So, uh, that is it for this video, guys. Please tell me what you thought of it, if it was good, if it was helpful. If there's anything else that you want me to put in it, I will put in it. Uh, for those wondering, I am not going to put Covenants in this video. I will put that in the next video, which will be like an advanced kind of video. Uh, and I'll cover all the Covenant stuff in there. But uh, for now, uh, this is it. Uh, if there's anything else that I missed, 
I will cover it in the next video, but well, please tell me how